I'm Jason Ritchie. This is my band, The Bad Kind. It's John Lisi, Jack Joshua, and John Perkins. Listen, man. You know what? We're here. We're here for tips. You know, we're out of work, but probably a whole mess of y'all are too. So just tip responsibly. Be cool. If you got something to give, that's great. If not, don't worry about it. All right. You know what? A lot of stuff, a lot of people you might be feeling bad right now. I'm one of them. I can barely stand up here before you guys and talk to you right now. I'm so worried about some stuff. But anyway, this one's coming from me for all the people out there that don't feel good, that are being told they need to feel good when they don't feel good. And it's okay to not feel good sometimes, especially right now. And that's what the blues is about. I'm going to talk to you about it. This one's called Don't Badger the Witness. <laughs> Jack. Coming up right now, and uh, 
I don't see many people walking the streets right now. There's not actually, you know, so we're, uh, those, uh, those issues have been uh, resolved. All right. This one is a pretty little thing. It's a true story. If it's offensive to you, believe me, it was offensive when it happened to me. It's called My True Love is a Dope Boy. John Perkins on the drums. They don't play, y'all. You get hooked on that girl or boy, they're gonna find a way to make you pay, man. You gotta know the meaning of words like pitiful, incomprehensible demoralization. Might find yourself considering some high risk career occupation. Because they got folks out here with a prerequisite of qualifications that include merciless sociopathic human degradation. Yep, I'm talking about the people that stand to profit. That'd be the dealers, the pimps, and the cops, and the United States government. Hey, they got no kind of remorse. They'll turn you, or her, or anyone into their own personal dope boy. Well, my true love, yeah, my true love's just a dope boy. Woo! Stay with him now. We're down in New Orleans. Oh, baby, I got my true love. Yeah, my true love's just a dope boy. Stay with me, man. Right here in New Orleans They sell that sweet little ass Sort of like rock In a little bag of heroin A little bag of heroin You sell that sweet little ass Sort of some crack rock Yeah, in a little bag of heroin Stole my little French pretty. Yeah, I wanna kill me. Sometimes I wanna kill me, kill me a dope man. Yeah, cause it stole her right away. And you know she was so pretty. Well, it turned out that my little French lover. That's where we're broadcasting from right now. Hey, I said it turned out a magna cum laude trilingual, college educated, bourgeoisie French woman way down on the corner of Castiglione, Castiglione and Gentile. Come on, Jackie, tell me about it.
when he calls himself old school. But his real name is Seema. Yeah, well, he calls himself old school. But his real name was Seema. some money go on and help the band if we appreciate it all right let's see boys i got one let's cheer things up a little bit this is a song i wrote for my wife my beautiful wife mrs caitlin dibble the vocalist anyway she doesn't care much for it because it's a song it's a little personal it's about how she likes to bring food into the bedroom that's right but i'm not talking about like nice food, like sexy food, like nine and a half weeks type of cherries and 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 uh, chocolate syrup and whipped cream and stuff. I'm talking about like mashed potatoes and shepherd's pie, shit like that. Little thing called sleeping on biscuits, y'all. <laughs>
the evening, late at night You know my girl works up an appetite About a quarter to three She drives over to KFC She orders up a freebie style game red with it She brings it straight into bed Sleeping on biscuits Y'all, 
sound good. Yeah. All right, this is a little. This is the title track off our new record. As I said yesterday, it's all. It's already gone. Uh, triple aluminum in Bogota, Colombia. That's right, Colombia. A place nobody will be visiting very soon. Nobody will be visiting anybody. <laughs> Think all my chops are rolling.
switch things up and get Jack Joshua up front to sing you one of his tunes. What's this one called, bro? It's called Cirque du Soleil Clown.
Thank you, Dave Luna, on that pizza. Luna. Oh, yeah. I just got back to town, baby. You did not even give a hoot. I just got back to New Orleans. You did not even give a hoot. I heard you move to Vegas. You took one and joined that blue man group. Take care of each other. Everybody, you know, prepare, man. You know, save your money. You might need a, like you might need an AR-15, you know, in the next couple days here. So, you know, you never know. Anyway, here's one. Again, it's called <laughs> Too Strong for You. <laughs> Too strong for you. Me, I'm 
trouble again. He took me backstage. He said, listen, kid, when we hired you, we knew, we knew you were going to be good, but we didn't know you were going to be that good. That's right. He said, as a matter of fact, all the other bands, they're afraid to go on after you. I said, Paul Schaefer, I was afraid that might happen. That's what I said. I said, I was afraid that might happen. <laughs> That's when I wrote this next line. It goes like this. Are you ready? Perfect. Honey, I'm the headline. X. Baby, I'm your headline. X. When the action natural say, you're gonna have to deal with that. Honey, I'm the headline. X. Let me say it again. We are too strong for you. We are too strong for you. wonderful for you, but you know what, man? They're hard for me. They're very hard. They're very hard. Because <laughs> dig it, man. Dig it, Jackie. Here's the problem, man. I got no time because I, I had to turn off I had to turn off all the internet except the dude can't stop the blues because check it out, man. My phone was blowing up. My, my Instagram was blowing up. My Facebook was blowing up. My Snapchat was blowing up. My Twitter was blowing up. 
My YouTube was blowing up with nothing but booty calls, ladies and gentlemen. Straight up booty calls from men and women. It don't matter to me, and it don't matter to men to me. Hit me up 24-7 looking for something. So I turned it all on. I turned it all on. And on and on the way here, Jack Joshua was driving over. Jack was driving over. And he called me, he said, I can't make the session. I can't, I can't go live today for Can't Stop the Blues. I said, what's the problem, man? He said, man, he goes, something happened, man. I'm stuck out in the wilderness. I said, you in the wilderness? He said, yeah. I said, give me your GPS coordinates. I'll be right there. I pulled up to where he was about an hour and a half later. He was out in the swamps by, by John Perkins. John Perkins lives out in the swamps with chickens and pigs and goats. Yeah, he raises pygmy goats, ladies and gentlemen, pygmy goats. Hit him up on Perkins.com to get your very own pygmy goat. We promise they're corona-free, Wuhan-free pygmy goats. But dig it, man. I pulled up and Jack Joshua was coming up on the floorboards of his van. I said, man, what's wrong? He said, man, be quiet, man. Be quiet. There's a dog man around here. Now, we got in trouble for talking about dog man a couple days ago on YouTube. But let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, now that the streets are closed, the cryptids are coming out, man. Bigfoot's coming out, the aliens are coming out, the ghosts and the demons. The, the, it's the weakening of the veil, ladies and gentlemen, the weakening of the veil. And I look around, I caught eye shine, and there stood the seven-foot upright walking canine, teeth glowing in the moonlight. I'm talking about a roo It's a werewolf. It's a don't-know werewolf. You don't know where that wolf is, man, but it's way up there in the sky looking down at you, man. That's what it feels like. I took I took one look at that werewolf. I looked at, I looked at Rougarou, that dog man, whatever you want to call it. I looked him right in the eyes, man, right in the ocular sockets. Right in the ocular sockets. And I said, let me tell you something. I got one question to ask to you, dog man. You know what it is? She said, you know, a lot of people ask me, was it a male or a female dog man? Let me tell you this, Facebook viewers, once you go full dog, man, gender is irrelevant. I looked at her, I said to check it out, I said, what kind of a kiss you like? I said, tell me, baby, what kind of a cake you like? Cause I'm all baking right till the moment you finish tonight. Tell me, dog, man, what kind of a cake you like? Let me go. Thank y'all. We appreciate it. Too strong for you? Again, that's one off of our uh, Approved by Snakes record on the Eller Soul label. Shout out to Lil Ronnie. Shout out to Eller Soul. Thank you for working with us. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, we owe the record company a lot of money. <laughs> well, we were going to pay it back after we did those festivals, you know. Hey, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Uh, dig it. This is one. This is one that I wrote a long time ago when I was a little kid. And um, I was like 21 years old. I was recording for the North Magnolia Music Label. That's out of Memphis, Tennessee. Or was out of Memphis. It was Billy Gibson's label. And uh, I wrote this song about somebody else. And it ended up coming true for me. <clears throat> a little thing called Snowflakes and Horses. Hope you dig it.
on the guitar, John Perkins on the drums, Jack Joshua on the bass, the one and only Caitlin